Santiago de Compostela, a stunning backdrop for a fabulous day of racing to draw this Vuelta to a close. Stage 21, and the none too small matter of 33.8 kilometers on a rolling course to the great cathedral itself. Well, something for just about everybody out there, this was no easy task, and many were saying that on paper, it was not reflective of just how tough it was. Cherny was the first man to go. Spectacular for the Czech time-trialing champion. Great time, and one we thought would stand loud and proud. In fact, it was up there in the hot seat for one hour before this man, Magnus Court Nielsen, went for it. Well, we assumed that perhaps he'd left his legs behind in a race where he picked up three stage wins. Oh no, full chat, and with a time that we thought may well garner him yet another stage win in this great race. Fabulous performer, never say die attitude, and once again he turned himself inside out to steal the advantage by a handsome margin over Joseph Cherney. Well, if that was thrilling, so indeed would be the battle towards the end. Not before we bid a fond farewell to Fabio Aru. He offered his heart to the crowd, who cheered him roundly, and we added to that applause. A great rider, former champion of La Vuelta, taking a bow, but on his own terms, and seems more than at peace with himself in that regard. A hugely popular figure, taking a bow. Well, about to take to the road, Jack Haig from a spectacular team, bidding for that podium place, or to hold on to it and stop Adam Yates from stealing it at the last. Mass and Roglic readying themselves as well. Yates in full attack mode, wanting to turn fourth place into a podium. And he was amazing at the beginning. Snatching an advantage of 29 seconds in a head-to-head -head comparison over Jack Haig, Adam Yates was motoring. Could he sustain it through the whole reach of the run, though? Afterwards, he was to say, the second half of the day was the toughest he had remembered. Not to be for Adam Yates, fourth place it was in the end, and Haig coming in for a spectacular podium. Adding to that, team champion status for Bahrain victorious, and of course the young riders jersey on the shoulders of Gino Maida and a stage win for Damiano Caruso. Spectacular. So indeed has been the gentlemanly fortitude of Enric Mas. Primoz Roglic though was in punishment mode out there. He wanted the best time possible. Roglic as he went through every single one of the time checks was up on Magnus Court Nielsen's time. Just one error almost going the wrong way, regarded by the cordon. Magnus Court thought it was shaky. Would he still be in the hot seat? The answer was no. Around mass came Roglic at the very last. And look at the time. In the end, 14 seconds to the good. A wonderful performance by a champion for the third time. His fourth stage win on this welter, but a hat-trick of titles. Well, there's nothing much better. He allowed himself a beer. And of course, fell into the arms of his teammates. They sustained the pressure of this Grand Tour magnificently. Their strategy, superb. <laughs> and almost the ultimate gift for the crowd, but he changed his mind. 14 seconds is win. That was the margin over. Nielsen, Aronsman, superb for DSM. Take that polka dot jersey through Michael Storer. And three stage wins for that team as well. The family man Roglic, happy to share the podium, not only with Jack Haig and Enric Mass, but his boy as well. The smile was broad and we sent it right back at him. Rather nicely he said to the crowds, I'll be back. Well, we can't wait. Would it be four in a row? The margin of victory this time, four minutes and 42 ahead of Mass, Haig on the podium, Yates close at hand, and Maida rounding out the top 10, and in so doing, taking the young rider's jersey as well. And the green jersey, 
Well, of course, Fabio Jakobsen. Three stage wins and what a road it has been for him this last year. And now that title as well. Wonderful. Stora in polka dots and two stage wins for him. Doesn't get much better. What about this young man? Gino Meda from Switzerland. The man who basically helped his team to this. The team title. And helped Jack Haig to third place overall. Damiana Caruso a stage win as well. Fabulous outfit. And our combativity award. Well, who else? Overall, it goes to Magnus Court Nielsen. Three stage wins. Almost made it four at the very last. A podium full of smiles and we sent them straight back at the boys. This was a wonderful welter and we are looking forward already to the next one.